Hey, what's going on? Uh, just taking care of a couple things on the bus. Thought uh, you'd want to see what we're up to. So, uh, nothing too crazy here. Just uh, pulled off the uh, cover on this because I was looking at my radiator and I'm like, you know, I should probably clean that out. We got a couple of pieces down here. You can see they're not in great shape. So a new radiator or probably both radiators will be in our future at some point. What I did was I put some degreaser on here, uh, hosed it down with the uh, kind of thin jet sprayer. And then I took one of these guys and just went real slow back and forth all the way down, all of them. And these were the ones down here, they were already messed up, I didn't do that. Uh, not with that anyway. Actually, I found the water caused those more problems in the air. So keep that in mind. Uh, the other thing I found is this. This is completely gone. Uh, I already I drilled out the rivets here already, but they were they nothing was holding this in. So uh, I'm gonna test out my fancy pants uh, Harbor Freight rivet gun thing. So one of the things I found out here was the uh, this bottom plate here had become misaligned. So what I'm gonna do is take this thin screwdriver in here pop it in the bottom plate and then I can use that to lever it, the whole plate over and the other thing is I didn't uh, the rivets I have are a little bit bigger than what the size there is so and that's probably good because these ones all failed and it looks like it's actually whatever this plate is is going into this top cap which a lot of people find annoying because it has no business being on an MC9. I didn't know that at first, I just thought it was a cool looking bus. So I'm gonna try and align it. I'm gonna get a chisel to clean up that surface. So I've actually only used this a couple times and I think I might actually want to go to a hand style one. Actually, this is my first, first time I've really ever done any riveting. So hopefully this content is riveting. Well, as all the dads like to say, that's not going anywhere. Let's do a couple more. The other thing I wanna take care of is replacing uh, some of these screws, these machine screws that I used to hold the skin on. As you can see, they are some of them are failing, not looking so hot. Uh, you can see they're starting to pop out. So we definitely want to take care of those as well. So I'm gonna get to work on those. Well, I got a couple put in here. See, I left some screws still in there, but there's one up there that was real bad. So I'll keep working on these, probably try and replace them all. I couldn't get my rivet tool into the space below the rain gutter, so I used a big screw I had left over from a TV mounting kit. That's why I never throw that stuff away, you never know. Now I want to take care of uh, something that's been a little bit of an annoyance for the last couple of months. 
I managed to lose one of my TPMS sensors and uh, I ordered a couple of new ones and I haven't had a chance to uh, sync them up properly. So I have it on there, but it wasn't connecting with the TPMS uh, system. As some of my longtime uh, watchers, listeners, whatever, uh, know, we got a Psychic uh, TPMS and it's been okay. Uh, I mean, it's definitely one of the cheaper ones out there, but uh, support has been very responsive and they got back to me with what to do um, with the sensor. So we're gonna give it a try. Now in the manual, it says when you're pairing a sensor that you need to press the set button five times slowly. That's wrong. If you do it slowly, it'll never work. It has to be pretty fast. So I'll show you how that works. So it's a little dirty here, but let's uh, give it a try. That's the sensor we need to replace. So let's do one, two, three, four, five. Okay, we are in pairing mode. So let's go and put in the sensor. The way our tires are set up, this is the only position I can get at them where I can reach my arm around in here. I can't get my arm through there. And obviously if it's down low, I can't get my arm under that way or over top, but here works. So I can get in there and uh, get these sensors on. Now I lost this one in this very same way, actually. Oops. I uh, was taking it off for putting it on and it went inside here and I thought it just got stuck in there but I think it fell out on the road somewhere or here I never found it now that difference in pressure that the sensor just experienced should be enough to wake it up and then it will start communicating here that is what is supposed to happen that does not appear, appear to have happened yet mount it the sensor to the corresponding tire metal stem. Install the sensor and inflate the responding tire. Sensor will send data to the monitor when detect the change of pressure. So that is not happening. We are waiting for it to say on. Hmm. Here is the other replacement sensor I got. You know, I maybe I should check to make sure that the batteries are good in them. Because to me, I don't know if you can see her and the light is just right. See, it, somebody scribbled 11 on it. And the other one has 12 on it. I'm wondering if they were returns or I don't know. Well, at the very least, let's try this one. Because nothing's happening here. Well, in any case, I just want one of the sensors to work. I don't really care which. All right, that other one was a pain in the butt to get on but it appears to be getting data now. So I think we're good. Now these are all from the last time we were driving. They, the sensors only output data when you're moving or the data changes. So everything got a little warm. that well, that's a little weird I'm guessing it got data from the setup process but not from uh, this yeah that one uh, got a little high I need to take some air out of that one obviously that one's sitting at 120 cold which I need to drop down obviously so but this is a good little system other than uh, that little issue. I'm pretty confident that uh, if I let them know that this one didn't work or whatever, that they would send me a new one. Uh, like I said, their support has been really good and responsive via email. What else do we got here? So here's another little thing that failed me recently. Uh, one of these marker lights quit working. Um, that's why you always buy a ton more of them. So I've got a couple extras and I'll show you how I'm gonna do that. I used spade connectors back there because I knew this would happen, and so it should go pretty quick. Okay, so the way these uh, pop off, you just gotta pry something under there, if I recall. 
Watch, I'll break it. You know what? It's a good thing I just turned on the lights because that's not the one that's out. That's the one that's out. All right, so let's pop this one off. That exposes the screws. We were in some pretty nasty weather. Doesn't surprise me. We ended up having a couple issues. So back here I have everything connected with spade connectors. To get at it, I need to pull this door down. And there we go. Now I do know that this entire thing is bad. Yeah, you can see it got pretty gummy in there or something. Uh, mostly because uh, it started failing a couple of lights at a time and they were really dim. And the plugs don't look bad at all. So what I'm gonna do is just uh, get a new one of these and put new spade connectors with the same polarity and we should be back in business. I have a bag here with uh, a number of different lights. I have, I even oh, look at this, I even labeled it. I have the red ones for up on top. Uh, these ones that I'm gonna be replacing here. Hey, whoa, look at that, what did I do? Was I thinking ahead? Huh, look at that. I already made some of the spade connectors already on there. Look at that. <laughs> I'm gonna have this done so fast, it's not even funny. Uh, let's just compare to make sure that got our connectors right. Yeah, black is the squiggly one and the white is the flat one. I'm not sure exactly what it's supposed to be, but that's the way I did them. There we go. Look at that, doesn't that look better? I want to crack the plastic and you know what this chrome piece isn't all that bad so I'll just put the old one back on and there we go I really like the look of these uh, you know I I'll be honest those ones are on over there but we're just not right in line with them there they are I'll be honest I kind of thought well Doing this is almost like, you know, trying to be a trucker or something like that, which there's no shame in that at all. But the visibility has been great. Even backing up or maneuvering around campsites, having all these lights on is great. I wouldn't even mind adding another set right in the middle. I do plan on adding some here on the fuel door, back of this door, and even the front door, and then all the way on the other side. Just haven't gotten around to it yet. Stinks, you always got to, uh, you know, balance what do you need to do versus what do you want to do and <sighs> trying to trying to keep it in balance, you know. Speaking of things you have to do, maybe some of you uh, noticed this down here. Yeah, on that last trip up to uh, um, Six Mile Lake, we lost that on the way up there. It fell off. I had never really mounted it. Um, I just kind of had it wedged in there, so... We lost the microwave, which isn't the end of the world. I want a convection microwave anyway, so that's something I'm going to have to do now. I think that might be enough fun for one episode. If you like watching this kind of stuff, definitely subscribe. Uh, definitely give a thumbs up. As you can see, I got a mess back here to clean up, and I've got some other stuff to do that I'm really excited to uh, talk about. Um, but I, I don't even want to tease it too much because... I've been trying to do a couple of these things. I've been, I've got a couple of videos I've been trying to get out since winter, uh, but just it's complicated, right? It's complicated. Anyway, you have a uh, great day. Get out there. Um, you know, it's like uh, if you're a fan of keep your daydream. I totally agree. You know, 
start now start with what you have you don't need a giant rig like this but get out there and uh make some whatever you make make it your own all right see ya coco you got anything to say nope